Hi, this is Jim Pike, third grade teacher at Ascension Catholic School. Welcome to Minecraft Math. Today in our Minecraft laboratory, we will be testing the uh, functional application of algebra by using, creating, and manipulating math formulas in the construction of a Parthenon-like structure. The dimensions we'll be using are all seven, length, width, and height of the columns. We will be using them to find how many blocks are in the area, how many blocks of redstone, how many blocks are in the columns, on the stairs, total blocks, and total materials. That means blocks plus stairs. Let's take a walk through all the formulas we used um, on this finished structure. Of course, area and length times width. And if you notice, the perimeter has a minus four at the end. And that's because in Minecraft, we count the corners twice because we're measuring both sides of the block. Um, the perimeter, as you'll see later when we build it, will be checkered with redstone, making 12 uh, places that we mark that we mark to build our columns. Have the students put sign of the multiplication tables of the seven to prove that they got 84 blocks. What you do is you times the height of the columns, which is seven, with the 12 redstone, and you'll get 84. And make sure you really point out that those corners you only count once. See, as you see, there's a sign and there's no sign. Now let's go take a roof, uh, take a look at the roof, and the students will discover that they use the same amount of blocks on the top as they did the bottom. So they don't really have to work too hard to find the area of the roof. They have already found it. It's 49. So now let's take a look at our equations for the stairs. It is 2 times the perimeter plus 8, and I'll show you how I got that formula later on. Um, and the total blocks, we have two times the area, for one for the floor, one for the roof, plus C, which is the number of columns. And we got a total of 182. 182 plus 64 stairs equals 246 total materials. Now, now let's build this bad boy. I'm going to start off by making a checkered perimeter of redstone that um, will eventually be 7 by 7. And one, like I said earlier, the reason why we're doing a checkered perimeter is that the redstone is going to mark where our columns are going to be. Um, after the students get it right and build this and they build their own, you may want to let them choose any numbers that they want because if they choose even numbers for their length and width, they're going to have a funny looking uh, Parthenon, but then they'll see the importance of odd numbers. See, look, both corners, all the corners end in red. Um, if you have odd numbers, that's going to happen. If you have even numbers, that's not going to happen. So after you build your perimeter and area, now let's put down our signs. Oh, I made a mistake there. <laughs> Should have put 49. Have fun teaching the formula for perimeter because you can do it in so many different ways. I really like doing 2 times the L plus W minus 4. And remember, show them that you got a minus 4 because you count the corners twice. You measured both sides of the corners. And have them show all the steps on the sign. Um, if they do the worksheet right, they'll have it already written down before they um, get to the Minecraft. And you wanted, this is the formula for the redstone, is you divide the perimeter by two. And to find the, uh, for how many columns you're going to need, you're going to multiply the height times redstone, 12 plus 7. And now we go build our columns. Um, as the students build the columns, have them label each column with the... Uh, sevens times tables as they go. It helps them keep count. It helps them prove that times tables actually work and what they are. They'll be able to manipulate it with it better later on. Um, but I'm trying to save us some time, so take a look how it looks on the finished building. Now we're building our roof. Um, start by putting a perimeter around your columns. and The kids will see that the dimensions are the same, so Finding the uh, area for the roof would be the same as finding the area for the floor. Now I'm going to put a dirt block in the corner so I can start my uh, second tier or second level of shingles. That uh, dirt block acts as a scaffold and lets us have it pop up and gives us a cool pyramid look on the roof. Um, later on you can find volumes of uh, you know pyramid structures as well with Minecraft and voila. Our structure is com almost complete. We just need to decorate it with the stairs that wrap around the top and the bottom perimeters. Um, 
to show them how to get the formula for the stairs, uh, I like to point out how what we know. We know that what the perimeter is. So I'm going to put the stairs, one stair on every block. As you see in the corner, that redstone already has one. So I go to the next one. The students will see that they will need um, two more blocks in each corner to, uh, to complete the stairs. So you got your algebra formula, perimeter plus eight. And because we're building two perimeters of stairs, one around the top and one around the bottom, we'll, have, we'll know how to find the total stairs by stairs equal two times perimeter plus eight. You saw that equation in the other sign, and you'll see it on the worksheet that will go along with this. And we're finishing up our stairs here. Make sure you aim low um, and where you want the back of the stair to be. If you aim high, it will be upside down. If you aim to the side, it will be sideways. So aim low and where you want that the back of the last stair to be. So let's take a look at our finished little Parthenon at sunrise in the rain and look in the background and you can see some other structures that um, my students and myself have built. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy Minecraft math.